Having a super hard crush on someone is basically like being a devout religious person looking for a miracle. You're kind of willing to believe anything. So if you're in a situation where you have observed your crush and his friends have been like, Julie, oh my God, Jake super likes you. Like this guy, he likes you. I mean, he does. It can be a very confusing situation because like you want to believe these friends and they're being very vocal about the fact that your crush likes you back. But your crush in the situation might be like, no, no, shut up, shut up, dude. No, shut up. So what are you supposed to believe? What's the truth? The answer is it's a little bit of both. The first thing to understand is that a guy's guy friends don't have the same access to, to your crushes like inner feelings the way our friends have to ours. So like girls, we tell our best friends like our deepest fears and feelings. Like we are so honest with our girlfriends. Boys, not so much. Like that's not really how boys communicate. Boys, in fact, communicate through teasing each other. So I say this because I want you to understand that like a guy, a guy friend doesn't necessarily understand what's going on in his bro's heart and mind because they don't communicate that way. But the teasing thing, when they say like, he likes you, that is teasing. It's cruel, horrible, consequence free teasing to them. Like they don't understand like, okay, saying that to someone, saying that to a girl, like that has consequences. And like, I'm sorry, my computer's falling over. Like, that's not something you bandy about. Like, that's, that is legit. And that's, that's mean. And that's hurtful. They don't always get that. To them, it's like just, it's just teasing someone. Like, oh, look at his stupid jeans. But like, the jeans don't have feelings. Like, we have feelings, actually. So, thanks, dick. So, when you like someone, though, you want to believe this. And I've been there. I wasted two years of my life. And to be honest, I almost wasted the entirety of my life on somebody who I loved so much. Matt, I need to watch these. And you're such a dick. So I'm calling you out. Because our mutual friend was like, he loves you. I've never seen him like this. I've never heard him talk about a girl like this. Like, so I stayed, like I held on through like so many horrible things because there was someone like whispering in my ear, like to stick with it. And I thought like, she knows, like she knows what's going on in his heart and his mind, even though what I should have been doing is focusing on his behavior, not what anyone else was saying about the situation. Nobody else's commentary, his behavior in no way added up to that. In no way. But I loved him and I wanted to believe otherwise. So I was going to believe anyone who was supporting my point of view, which was he loves me. But if I had been honest with myself, that wasn't the situation. And when I decided to get real and be like, I can't waste more years of my life, literally years of my life on this person. And then I looked at the situation objectively. I was like, no, this guy doesn't love me. He doesn't even respect me enough to like, like, show up to our dates. Yeah, bitch, I'm calling you out. Cause you're almost 40 and you're single. And I got an awesome boyfriend. I'm, I'm also, I'm also a little bit drunk. It's, you know what guys, it's gala season. And gala season means black tie events. It means a lot of expensive free flowing champagne, some silent auctions where I may or may not spend $500 on like a safety pin shaped brooch. I don't even wear brooches. We're not here talking about me. We're not. The point is, if a guy friend is telling you one thing, ignore it. As tempting as it is to believe it, because you want to believe it, what you need to do is observe the guy's behavior. 